Okay, YouTubers, this is something I decided to do. Uh, I'm getting ready to do the head gaskets on this. I blew one today and decided, well, uh, before I pull it into the garage to do the head gasket, we're going to go ahead and do a quick video on the deck because I don't see many in interesting videos out there about 400. So I'm getting ready to take the deck off. So I figured I'd walk you through it real quick. This is the original late 70s three wheel John Deere deck and it's got two wheels on this side you can come over here there's a single wheel on the back and we've got this brush blade here it's a knockdown blade but really it's like a dolly handle you'll see why here in a second and in the front a lot of the 400 series have this quick, quick disconnect under here there is a lift spring and it's a lock pin pull it out change hands pull it out and lock it into place so it stays out and pull this handle down and it will allow you to spin this handle down and drop the front of the mower down underneath in the front Again, I failed to mention that a lot of people probably do this differently on theirs. They start from the front, go from the back, or from the back to the front. Either way, it's the same. Pull these J pins out. And it lets the front floaty mount open. Same thing on this side. out Being a little difficult on me there it goes this thing now comes down and out okay on this side this isn't the original pin. I lost one of the originals, but idea is the same. Take the pin out and drop it. Here in a second, we'll be able to spin it underneath here. We've got this lower hook and an upper hook. I pull the tops whenever I drop the deck because I'm usually dropping the deck to put my loader front end on i'll do a video about that one next i made a homemade loader for this because finding the brantleys are impossible and then again spring loaded pin drops this side up in here we have a drive shaft it's got a small lock collar if you pull it back it locks back comes forward basically lock into that groove there when you put it on i like to pull them forward just to kind of keep the dirt out of them as i'm shimmying it out of here and that's pretty much everything disconnected on this side you can slide this forward some spin this wheel to the side and then basically we're going to pin this up i like to pin them to where they're all the way down because again this is going to allow you to use the wheels when you spin them sideways like this. They travel this way, spin them this way and lift it. I'm holding the phone. You guys have to excuse me. I don't have a fancy tripod or none of that stuff. So you pin this and now you basically have a dolly to roll it with. This side will spin around and act as a dolly just as well. Jump to the other side. These are the original pins I was talking about. I just, I had them both. I just lost one the other day. I was kind of disappointed because at this point they're really old. And you can't really find them with that little washer on the end there. Makes them really neat. It's here in the yard somewhere. In my last mow session, I lost it. I'll probably find it. I have to get a magnet bar 
ride around without the deck on, see if it doesn't suck it up. Anyway, back in here. Again, I pull the top pins. It's just habit. And then this side's gonna be a bit more of a challenge. We'll have to come right back to you here a second. Okay, we're back. I got this pin down. Now, basically, we can just go to the other side after those points are taken off. Of course, for me, it's going to be a little hard because I've got gravel, naturally. Give me a second, I'll sit you over here somewhere. Okay, so that was the remainder of pulling it out again. This is the 60 inch deck. <coughs> One of the things that seem to wear and tear on these are the lift arms. I've seen the bolts waller out on them. And there's really not much you can do. You can get on eBay and find these arms. What I did was went to tractor supply. Because of the waller I had on mine. I boarded out. I use category one bolt on clevises and put them on. And again, I use another quick pin for that. This works really well just to get your system back up and rolling again. Um, might not be for everybody to fix it this way, but I found it to be a solid fix, you know, no matter what. Got me back together, got me going again. This deck. I'm going to wind up taking apart and restoring. Let's see if we can get the model number on this one. It's the, it's the H060F. I don't know if this is originally came with this tractor. I bought a couple of these in parts. One was running. The one I'm working on now, it has the bed head gaskets, was running. And uh, the other one over there, off in the distance you see it in front of the loader that one I built from parts and that's the loader I have to make a video explaining how I made that it works several it works pretty well but anyhow that's that I just wanted to show a quick video on how to dismount this and I may just run another video after a while once I get the head gaskets and stuff put back together on this one how to reattach it when I get ready to do my next cut all right, YouTube, thank you. Appreciate it. If you like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'm a knucklehead, what have you. Take care. Thanks for looking.